What's up, Internet? We are here in the town of the town, continuing my Animal Crossing life. We got some mail. Let's check it out. We've got a letter from the museum. Now we can send them fossils. Great, we're going to do that. From the HRA. Don't care. From Snowman. Oh, that was nice of Snowman to send me some Snowman-related Snowman stuff. Alright, so first thing we should do is probably send some mail out to the museum so that we can actually start uh, selling and donating fossils. Also, our house just got bigger, which is nice. I should try and remember what the feng shui on this stuff is so I can get bonus luck. But that is for another time. Out of the way, Weber. We might also get another shot at uh, the Magical MacGuffin of Destiny because it's still Igloo season and I really want it. Uh, drop it for now. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. So, right letter, museum. Nice thing about uh, museum letters is they don't care what you write. They just care what you've got in it. Everyone else, they care if you've got like proper like, uh, grammar and stuff. Like, if you don't uh, end a sentence with, like, a, uh, period and use commas and stuff, they get mad at you. Hey, gyroid paper. That's kind of cool. Alright. Now, we're probably gonna run into more, uh, fossils as well today, because they tend to refresh every single day, which is great. There's usually one or two new ones that you miss, because they get added every day, which is cool. And this other crap, we're gonna, I guess, try and sell to Nook, and then we'll be on our magic merry little way to find uh, an igloo or something. We should try and finish up that uh, quest for that other person, which required us to find um, Spike, who has a Game Boy that he stole from, like, three other people who stole the Game Boy from someone else. Uh, we should check on our uh, gold uh, shovel tree. Because gold shovel trees are things that exist, and, you know, you need to monitor your gold shovel tree. I'd like to mail some letters, Pelly. Yes. No, I want to mail other things. Now, one thing I don't like is, when you sell things to Tom Nook, you can use the X button and you can, like, blanket coat every item you want to sell so you don't have to sell things one at a time. You can't do that with mail, which is dumb. Because it just makes this a slow, arduous practice of slowly going through the list and sending out one thing at a time. And it's just kind of painful. Pain mail. I wish we had that sort of creed here. Here our postal service is basically, you know, if you're cloud friends, you're not getting your mail today. Yeah. Postal service. Mr. Peanut Butter knows what's up. Alright, uh, let's see if we can get some money out of rocks. Nope. There's an igloo here. Who's running this igloo? Is it still Spike? Okay, interesting. I know the character personality types end up affecting, um, what sort of games they give you, and certain characters have, like, better chances of giving you stuff, so... It's actually quite advantageous. Okay, we still have our snowman thing. In its mail. So we can go look for Spike and finish his little quest. That tree's growing pretty nicely. It's one I have to still pay off. Oh, good. About 150,000 bells, that's affordable. Home ownership, it's a thing. Let's sell some crap. What shirt do we have? Number 76, that's a boring shirt, you can have that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Wow, that is terrible prices. We were getting a lot more yesterday. The number two shirt. Hey, Bugnet. 
which was also a series of Game Boy Color games that I owned. It could connect to cell phones to get stuff through, like, an adapter, if I understand correctly. Unfortunately, we are at a time where we can only catch, like, three bugs. Four. You can catch the bees, the, uh, mole crickets, pill bugs, and... bagworms. And I think this is the only point in the year where you can actually catch bagworms, so we might have to go on a little... quest to find some bagworms at some point. Oh, I saw a weed. We gotta pick it. Pick. Okay, there's a snowman thing. I was busy! I'll point out you had me go get a Game Boy from Olivia first. It just happened to be in Spike's hands. How you know that, I'm not sure. I'm not avoiding you, I'm just getting to this game really late, okay? Alright, we'll go look for Olivia's videotape. Okay, and we found one of the snowmen uh, snowballs, so there's that. If we can find the other, we can go try and get more snowman stuff. Hey, it's our old friend the snowman, we'll talk to him later. Not that he does anything after, you know, making him. I'll take this back to Pippi Longstocking. Do we have anyone new in our town? Yes, we do. I'll have to go say hi to Liz. Who I'm betting is not a lizard. You may have this crappy videotape that is no longer useful, as it's massively outdated. Stationary. I don't need stationary. Hey, Mr. Snowman. How you doing? <laughs> I like that he just accepts that. Let's just talk. Yes, I know. I think there's a couple of dialogue things we have to still go through from, like, tutorializing this game, though. Oh well. We'll keep talking to people. Hey, she's a lizard. She seems nice. Her eyes are a little creepy looking, but she seems nice. Let's chat. Yes, yes I did. Ganooch. I know how to buy tools. I have tools. What more tutorial messages do we have to go through? I'm already buying all the flowers I can from his shop, lady. Actually, this is an important thing you can sell or you can sell, you can send fruit to people and they'll give you different fruits. Which, short of going to other towns, is the only way to really get uh, different fruit types. Yes, I intend to edit that when I have some time. More tutorializing! Let's not do that. What does your house even look like? I need to know. Snooping! What kind of taste do you have? Do not care much for the pink, but... That's actually not a bad song. 
All right, let's see if there's anything in the good old Rock of Justice. Maybe I'll find a pill bug and we can give it to Blathers. Nope. Yeah, there's another rock. Nope. No one here. Okay. Well, I can try and make another Mr. Snowman. Problem is we have to go up a, a hill, which tells me we probably won't end up uh, building it there. We'll probably put it next to the other one. We'll try. There's a mole cricket, but I don't really want to deal with that right now. You can deal with mole crickets whenever. Snowmans are winter only. Okay, let's not push it all the way up there because I don't think that'll work very well. Yeah, okay. Olivia, if you could just not be there, that would be ever so super. I planted over here or something. Should be close to being able to hand roll it, which is nice. Because now we have a certain degree of actual control. More snowmen means more snowmen objects. Okay, now we gotta get the other one, which was somewhere up here. Now this part is scary, because the moment we go down the hill, if we don't have the ability to roll this, maybe even if we do, we're going to lose control over it. Which is less than ideal. So we're just going to tootle it around over here until we get it to a right size that we can actually control it. Because the nice thing is, if you get it to a height that's too big or you're unsatisfactory with it, you can just roll it over like a grass, or a grass, a yeah, dirt patch, and it'll actually lose mass. I think it's gone forever. Oh no! Alas. Oh, we can respawn another one. That's a nice house. I don't know where it'll spawn though, so if we can't find it, I guess it's gone forever. Alas. Poor Snowball. It had such, such high hopes for this world. And they were dashed by the harsh mistress that is gravity. And here's the good old money rock. Full of all your money rock needs. Such as storing money. Of course. It's not the button I wanted. Now we can just condense these all to our money storage pile. Although if we are going to go on a quest for igloo stuff, we should probably take most of our money out of that because it uh, means they can't get it. It actually gives us a greater advantage as to what we're trying to go and get, as I understand. Now I'm just looking for a pill bug, because why not? Nothing there. Who lives here? Oh, Spike. Oh, and he's off gallivanting around like some kind of hero. Alright, I guess we're gonna go look for Spike. Oh, and while we're here... Hey, our tree's growing. That's a good sign. Pick the weed. That looking for another pill bug. I've really seen Spike around though. 
That's kind of the problem. They don't tell you where they're going. They're just sort of not here, and that's a pain. So now you gotta hunt them down. Like the dogs they potentially possibly are. Uh, here's a nice little pond. And we're just here. Anything down here? Oh, police office. Let's see if there's free stuff. Every item is lost. All one of them. Fishing rod! That's a good thing to find. Yep, that is absolutely mine. Great, we can go fishing next time. Go team! Unfortunately, in winter, there's not a ton of fish you can fish for, especially in the ocean. It's really just sea bass. Which is, of course, Gracie. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so she'll give you exclusive clothes if you make her happy by washing her car for her by button mashing, and I'm bad at button mashing, so let's see if we can do this. I like the outfit she wears, but that's about it. Yes, you should wash it yourself. Well, she's wearing a stylish scarf. <sighs> I am so bad at button mashing. Okay, so we didn't do good enough to get her exclusive clothing. Uh, I don't know why, but for whatever reason it stopped reading my inputs halfway through. That kind of sucked. What clothing did we get? Did we get something cool? Nah, not really, no. I'll stick with my fishbone shirt. Really, we're on a quest to find Spike. That was just incidental. More fossils for the museum. More fossils for the museum. Someone's not in right now. No pill bugs for us. But we got another fossil for the museum. So we will write another letter to the museum. Write another letter to the museum. Write another letter to the museum. And this time we'll exclaim. Therefore they know it's important. Because that's what exclamation points do. They tell you something is important. Possibly. Or that you're just yelling at them. But yelling's important. It's also something I don't think I'm physically capable of, but still, I assume it's important. That up. Where are you, Spike? You owe, like, three people an apology for the Game Boy you basically stole. somewhere. Eh, screw it. You also shouldn't have taken it from like four other people than the person, but yeah, thanks. Stupid thing is. Oh well, we'll leave it alone. 
Uh, where else do we need to go? Not many places, I guess. Let's go say hi to this lady. Hi, lady. No, we're here in the town for a reason, and also I don't want to buy another memory card. Let's talk. Now this is one thing I don't like about Animal Crossing, is animals move. Later iterations you can kind of talk them out of moving, this one you can't. My birthday. A month from now. I suppose that would be right, yes. Okay, the museum is here. Still can't do much about it though because we can't uh, identify fossils on our own. Seriously, can we just be able to do that? That would be awesome. Hey, another fossil. Another letter to the museum. And send them out a fossil. I guess we will now go up. I've not seen another snowball. There's another fossil. Alright, another letter to the museum. We're gonna get a lot of, lot of fossils back, which is nice. I might actually be able to sell some of them. Because that's the thing, I, I don't want to sell things I don't have duplicates of. That was a problem the first time I played Animal Crossing. I went with that mentality, but I accidentally sold one that I didn't have a duplicate of, and I had an almost complete museum with the exception of one fossil, and I could not for the life of me figure out what I was missing. Alright, uh, I don't need anything from Nooks. I don't need you, Nook. Oh, I need to give that Game Boy back to what's her name. That's right. That's why we're here. You should deliver your Game Boy Color. That's not a Game Boy, that's a Game Boy Color. Oh, special piece of furniture. I think it's a regular piece of furniture, but still. What did we get? A pot belly stove, yeah, that's something I'm gonna hang on to, absolutely, except not. I would like to sell Mr. Nook. Most of these two things. That's fine. Alright, so that's done. I guess we'll just go plant some trees or uh, flowers around our house. Well, our house already has flowers planted around it. Plant them here. Oh, we got a weed over here. I think there was a little igloo right here. So now we're gonna go try and see if we can get that item today. And we're gonna try and save some of my money. There's a fun little trick. You can actually put pretty much anything in your letters and just take it out when you need them. So it's extra storage space. Yes. What if I beat you? Cubby hole? 
wrist. <sighs> yes, I was gonna eat all the chowder. Actually, you can keep your chowder. Chowder never sounded terribly appetizing to me. But I'm also Mr. Picky Pants when it comes to food. And he went with a side. Vibraphone? I don't know what this thing is. We have to take this home and analyze it. Discover the secrets of the vibraphone. I actually don't know what this is. It's probably some like just generic uh, instrument type object. But still. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, it's just like a xylophone. The neat thing about them is if you like press A on uh, instruments, they'll start playing the theme to whatever you uh, have your town set to, which we're gonna modify at some point. But that's when we're not on a quest for an interesting little secret item that I need in my life. That takes precedent. Let's play a game. That is a pothos that is a plant. I know because I had to water a bunch of them in my old job. That's actually a really good deal though. We'll expand our catalog and probably end up selling them back to you for more. Let's play a game. Snake plant. I'm growing one of those actually. Off a piece that broke off back when I worked there a year ago. Things are really bloody resilient, you know, like don't have to ever water them, they're kind of awesome. Yes, it's exceptionally comfy. Let's play a game. Let's do it. So, it's a poker face game. Got it. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's see. <laughs> uh -huh. And we're just gonna do this so we can't lose too much money. I'm surprised you can't, like, take an increment of 5,000 bells. That seems weird to me. You've been looking for a thing like the thing you just gave me. Okay. No, I don't like that face. Metal. No, you're not. That's nothing. I can tell. 
Sure, let's play a game. An Apple TV. How much am I going to buy your ITV for? That's not too bad. Plus it gets to fill up my catalog a little. And I'm really only here for one thing, and you gotta give it to me, buddy. in the snow. I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> I cannot uh, get this right. The other person is like, I got free stuff left, right, and center of here. It's like, uh... Come on. Let's see some exclusive stuff. Because I want the exclusiveness. Blue Cabinet. Alright. Side. Price gouging bear. All right, Cody. Yes, I want to play games. You can take my ITV. In fact, you know what? You can take all my items if you just trade for one thing I know you have. Middle. No. I think middle again. Not really, no. Come on, let's have a game, because I want to play them. What are we playing for? A flip top desk. Wrist. Head. Alright, well, I got a flip top desk. Ouch. I like the other guy better. He gave me free stuff because he was bad at his game. This guy's actually good. Left. I'll take it. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm just gonna take a thousand out of that. We could put them outside if we really need to. Let's play a game. You can take my xylophone thingy. So we want to like find the most neutral expression you can give and that's the one that wins. Left. No. Right. Oh, I lost. Hmm. 
It's good and I dislike it. It's a smug face I want to punch. Yes, it was going to be entirely my chowder. You can win chowder. As well, it's an exclusive item in here. Kinda like the sleigh we got. A Naomi figure. Dead. Ah, uh, 50-50. It's gonna be way more money than I can afford, I'm sure. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually affordable. You can take the blue cabinet. And we'll move on with our lives, Cody. Left. That's not a real middle. Uh. Come on, Cody. Let's have a game. You can take my stupid cactus. Right. Right again. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go dump some money outside just so I have more room for money. And it'll appear at the Lost and Fan Station. And then suddenly. Everyone will be a little richer because they'll all be sure they dropped a thousand bells. I'm going to take three more from here. Two. Dut, dut, dut. Woo! Do, 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 do. More games, Cody. Specifically games that have prizes. Ones that I want. Ones you can't get anywhere else. Yes. What are we playing for? A really cool prize, but is it? An exotic chest? Actually, that's not a bad piece of furniture. I might keep that. That's actually not a bad piece of furniture. And that's not a bad price for it either. I'm gonna drop that outside. Well, at least we're finding something, but seriously, I want some exclusives. In fact, one specific exclusive. Because exclusives are neat. Let's play a game, Cody. You can take my crappy desk. Left. 
I'll take it. Yep, I'm sure. Ow. Huh. Maybe it's just randomized. Oh well. Let's play a game, Cody. I need to play games, that's why I'm here. Games with prizes and high stakes and awesome things. Things like sleighs, but I already have one. Things like models of igloos, but things that are not quite that, too. It is my driving character motivation at this point. You can take my Naomi figure. I don't like this guy's games. They're not as fun as uh, the grumpy characters' games. I'll take it. See, that's actually not bad. Come on, let's play a little bit of a game there, Cody. No sleep for you, Cody. I was going to eat your chowder. It was going to be very chowdery. Let's play ourselves a game. What are we playing for? But is it a really cool uh, space station? I mean, I don't want it, but... Riss. Cool. I don't want it, but cool. play another game. What prize shall we get from this game? Please be something good. That's not a great prize, but head. 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 I'll point out, unlike the other one where at least if you did better they would charge you less, this one does not seem to do that, which is a problem. Which means you can lose some money real quick here. And it's frustrating because there's only one thing here I really want. I mean, the other exclusives would be nice, but there's really only one that matters to me. Let us play a game. You can take this space station off my hands. I'll take the right one. That's not bad. sort of neutral with my money at this point. Let's play a game. A mossy stone. Actually, I want that for something. How much am I paying for a rock? Okay. I do actually want that for something, though. So I'm gonna drop that outside. And put it in the giant pile of stuff we can't possibly lose. Unless the police officers find it and take it to their 
magical land of uh, lost and found. Come on, we're only gonna go for 15 more minutes to try and find this thing. So let's play some more games. Lefty desk. I mean, I can use that, but it's not something I want. Hooray for ambidextrousness. It's still probably cheaper than you could actually buy from Nooks. Comfy igloos. You can take my crappy drum, that's fine. Middle. I'll take it. I will do my best to buy something cool with it. I've been told the uh, animals with like the best games for actually getting stuff are like the really like friendly girl characters. So uh, if we're gonna really go for a long odyssey of trying to find secret things, it's uh, those are the characters we're looking for specifically, not that we have any real control over it. It's not like I'm gonna pass up the opportunity to try and get more stuff. I was going to eat your chowder, yes. Let's play a game. What's this really cool prize? A teacher's desk. I don't really need it, but, you know, another thing in my catalog. Oh. Wow, that is a lot for a piece of garbage furniture. Take my lefty desk, sure. I'll take it. That's okay, I guess. It's not a lot, and I mean, you just charged me three times that, but okay. I will take the chowder. I just have no money or something? No, I've got money. He's just repeating things now because silly Cody, his brain exploded. Let's go deliver some mail because I forgot I had to do that and then we'll uh, go for another 10 minutes or so, try and get to uh, the mysterious MacGuffin of Destiny. Yeah, another problem with like having to actually mail away to identify your fossils, you fill up your mailbox really quick. Which is crap. Crap you don't really need. And I mean, it gives you some extra storage, I guess, but... You know, you have to deal with your, uh post box being full the entire time too. Nice thing is you don't have to pay shipping on these things because shipping is ridiculously expensive on anything nowadays. No crustaceans. Yes, now give me what I'm looking for or I'll eat all your chowder. You 
you can take my teacher's desk that I paid way too much for. I'll take it. And I think I can take a thousand out of there for security's sake. Well, you surprised me. Now give me all your chowder. Or your secret prizes of awesome. You know, one weird thing is, when you start Animal Crossing, like, every day, until you hit, like, the neutral cap for your town, you get, like, a new villager. But, like, after that, it takes, like, a week for a villager to move out, and a new one to show up. Kinda weird. Come on. I was gonna eat all your chatter, but if you give me all your prizes, I won't. Deal? Or potentially all the bells you stole from me. Come on, Cody McBrain Fart, let's go. And what is this prize? Hey, I need a stone like that too. Well, you just tried to headbutt me, so I'm guessing head. It's gonna be all your money. Ouch. I mean, it was something I wanted, but... We'll put the uh, standing stone outside. I mean, at least we're getting a couple pieces of furniture that are kind of cool for an idea, maybe, but... Let's play a game. Snow Bunny, that's an exclusive item. Alright, well. I think that's about as well as this is gonna go, so. Uh, maybe I could uh, do one more. Right, I'm gonna put the Snow Bunny outside because I'm gonna keep that. That's an exclusive, is what that is. But I want the chowder. So this is how you're gonna be, Cody? You brain fart. Come on. Alright, fine. I'll leave. I know I stole your awesome snow bunny, but... Uh, it wasn't what I wanted. Alas. We can always try again tomorrow. to our house. We still haven't found like, a glowy spot either. Hmm. Maybe it's down here. Possibly. But I'm not seeing it. No pill bug in the rock. Oh well. Alright, let's go home. We haven't talked to you today, so let's do that.
Okay. I believe you could have been good at rowing, perhaps, maybe. I mean, not really, but still, if it makes you feel better, I'll say yes. Alright, so the first thing we want to put down is the snow bunny. It's a little tiny little bunny made of snow, and it's cute. Uh, next, we want to put the mossy stone down. That'll be for something later. Maybe. Next is the standing stone. Likewise, later that might be something we can use. And the exotic chest, because I think this is a very nice piece of furniture. Huh. Doesn't actually store stuff, so that's weird. I thought it did. Anyway, that has been January 3rd, 2018 of our life in Animal Crossing. Still on the epic quest for the magic frozen MacGuffin, but we got a snow bunny out of it and lost a bunch of bells. And hey, we managed to get our, uh, our letter from the museum so we can finally send out stuff in order to get it appraised so we can take it back to the museum. That whole system is flawed, damn it. Uh, anyway, if you want to see more, you can if you check back tomorrow and you follow the stream. Uh, you can watch stuff on my YouTube channel, which I suggest you also subscribe to to see everything else I do, which is a lot. And if you really want to make my day, help support the show through its Patreon so that I can continue to do awesome stuff. And then you get yourself on the Patreon supporters Discord where we can talk about how completely broken the museum fossil identification system is and also how badly that guy robbed me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.